As a gentleman myself, I understand how difficult it can be to learn how to tie a tie properly. So, we have put together a little compilation of staff and students showing you different techniques for tying your tie. Okay, so I'm going to talk you through some really simple principles of how to tie a tie, but also how to do the, the half Windsor technique. So here we go. The first thing you need to do is obviously make sure that your top button is done up. Do not try and tie your tie without your top button done up because this has got to happen anyway and otherwise you'd have to do it over the top of your tie. Second thing you need to do is pull your collar up. A bit uncomfortable but it will only be for a second. The next thing you need to do is obviously place your tie around your neck and what you will want to do is make sure that you've got obviously a much longer side with this end than this end. I usually go for somewhere around here so there's usually a, a seam that you can kind of measure against. You want to crop for the half Windsor, you want to cross over and pinch the tie together. Go over once. Go through. Now this is where if you're doing a traditional knot, you would just tuck it under and your tie would be done. But for a half Windsor, to give it that special thickness, you go back round again and you want to try and keep it nice and tight and through and then through the knot okay so you're going to push it and pull it all the way through the knot I always hold this end and this end as I pull so I pull this and hold this nice and tight and then you get that nice thick knot you pull this down as you pull the knot up make sure I always go for the tip of the tie to the top of your trousers, collar down, and voila. A very important part of the Cadova Court uniform is your tie, and now tying it is actually very easy. The first thing you do is you've got your thin end on your left and a thick end on your right. This thick end should touch around your knee. This will help to align it later on. First, you put the thick end over the thin end, and then you pull your tie through the hole that you've created. Then after that, you can wrap this thick end around this knot here, like so, like so, and then pull it again through the hole that you've created. You can then pull this down like this, and then just tighten it, like so, and then you pull it up. This allows you to pull it up and tighten it as you see fit. Here, you can use a thin end to go through here. If it's a bit too short, you can just push it through, push it And then you can just follow on like so, like this. Now you don't look very scrappy, do you? 